Right? I had a recent experience I'll share uh, because I am in a process, as I actually see a lot of women are, of integrating my sexual energy, my erotic energy into my full being, right? Understanding that it's not actually just like a, a locally like genital thing that has to do with sex, that it's actually a vital force that I have really like shamed and compartmentalized by virtue of my own uh, Irish, Italian, Catholic upbringing um, into some sort of weird small box. And as I've been in this process, I've explored all sorts of things that I never imagined uh, would have been on deck for me. And I've gotten really into pole dancing. Okay, so, so I'm like obsessed, right? And I, and I, and I am very, very um, expanded by the experience. Like I feel like the way that I see, when I watch a woman pole dance, the feeling that I have in my body is like, I can't believe a human can be so beautiful, right? Like it's like this, I'm washed over with like inspiration and like turn on and just this feeling of like, we are such incredible creatures, right? And so as I've been playing with this, it's been sort of like an edge practice, right? And I had this experience like two weeks ago now where I was able to do, physically do these two moves that I wasn't able to do even the week before. So like that progress was like really exhilarating and I felt super expanded by it. And then the next thing I did was like an upside down straddle. And as I did it, which I'd done before, I slammed my right rib cage so hard that I'm going on three weeks and I have not been able to get back on the pole yet. And so it could be like, oh, that was like a really shitty random thing that happened to me, right? And since I don't believe in accidents, for me, it was almost immediately clear that as I'm doing this work of resolving all of the secret places that my victim is living, I've come into contact with a deep fear that I have as a woman that men of the world can, might, and maybe even want to kill me. Right, and Jordan Peterson says that, that women are afraid, ultimately, that men will kill them. And men are afraid that women will laugh at them. Right? Like that's the ultimate. And so as I explore this deep fear that comes from, you know, all sorts of experiences from childhood that are not that unique, you know, that many of you probably can directly relate to, uh, this, this coupling of our expansive vital force energy, sexual energy as children, right? That has little to do with what we now call sex. That's, that's this, this sort of vibrant font of beingness. The coupling of that with a mortal fear of abandonment, rejection, or extinction in some way is, is, it leads to this conflict that we like try to work out for the rest of our lives. Like you have this energy come up in you and then you're you're constricting around it and you're trying to, you know, make it go away and you're playing this sort of like self-containment role. So what I found is that I am taking the perpetrator out of the government, you know, out of the cabal, out of my relationships. Um, and I'm seeing that what I thought was the perpetrator doesn't really have that power. Well, now I'm doing it to myself, right? I did that to myself. I expanded and I did this injury to myself, in my opinion, subconsciously, so that I could actually impose contraction on myself because that's what feels familiar and safe. 